to the N64 quest. We've been on a little bit of a pause for the past month or so, I guess, um, as we've been moving over here to the new bigger apartment. You can already probably tell just from the little bit that you can see over here that this is a, a big upgrade. This is a lot more sizable uh, of a space over here. Here you go. There's the, that's the dining room. That's an actual dining room. It goes all the way over there, and then um, I actually have. Uh, only so much slack on my cord for my Elgato, so I'm, I actually have the cord at kind of an angle here. But um, yeah, there's behind me, and I actually putting the thing at an angle on the TV um, or on the coffee table facing the TV here. Um, so here we are, Gex Three Deep Cover Gecko. Um, we've we've seen Gex Sixty Four. Uh, played that I played that a long time ago now. Actually, that was a, that was a while ago. And I, it's it's a low tier, low tier platformer for the N64 with Gex 64. But here we are here. Oh, just let me make sure the. Okay, yeah, that's the. Uh, not much going on sound wise here. Game audio. That's what I'm looking for. Cool. Yeah, it's it's running good and everything. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we've got a big stack of reading material here. For Gex 64 this time, there's there's two Nintendo powers. One of them is the month before preview here in the issue from Hybrid Heaven, uh, August 99. There, that's a preview. And then um, I think it's the only one that has the actual strategy guide, and it kind of boils down most of it, which is which is funny to me uh, because if you then look at the actual strategy guides that I have here for it, I have this one from uh, Millennium, which is actually still sealed, and I'm gonna be cracking the wrap, wrapper on it right now, actually, because I, I don't feel the need to keep this sealed. Um, but I only bought it recently, and I was like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to open this one. I actually don't play it. Uh, but I bought it because I was, I knew I had Gex 3 coming out. It wasn't very much. Um, it only has the PlayStation logo on the front, actually, but I don't think that's really going to cause a problem uh, for it being the N64 version. I'll let y'all know if I notice any big PlayStation and N64 differences, and uh, yeah, so like I said, this one is from Millennium, who actually are a, a really solid company, from what I've seen, I believe the, I have the Castlevania one, which is really, really, really nice, I use that a lot for my Castlevania stream, there's a full color and everything in here, uh, this, this looks real good, actual good, like, photo, paper, quality, full color, and and uh, there's some some good previews of the levels we're getting in the game here. We've got the Steve Austin, uh, Steve Austin uh, Gex looking thing over here, and we've also got uh, Gex uh, Buccaneer Gex right here, which I believe is one of the early levels. We'll probably be seeing that. Uh, and then oh, and then here in the back cover, there's sort of a Wild West Gex uh, stepping out into the street at high noon. Uh, and then this is I actually wanted to point this out. This is. The Prima Guide, which actually, now that I pointed out, it is actually in full color and everything too, so they weren't cheaping out too hard on this one. Uh, and this is a hefty boy. This is a big guide for. I mean, even if you just compare it to the, the Millennium one, that one's that one's not that big. This is a reasonable size. It's not I, I did not expect it to be this large. Um, so I, that actually worries me. I did not intend on spending hours upon hours with Gex Three, but. Um, anyway, so that's we've got a lot of re uh, reference material over here. We've got a lot to to check out while we do this. But other than that, let's just uh, jump into the game. Let's get a fresh take on this story with uh, with Gex and see what he's doing this time around. I've got my Gex Green uh, controller right here, novice camera. Don't call the camera modes novice and expert. That's so that's dumb. That's that's very unnecessary. I I don't know what that means. And let's check the controller pack. Let's see if I have enough space here. Fuck. This is some 90. Oh oh okay. So yeah, I just use this for battle techniques. Uh, I think this will be enough space. Anyway. All right, new game. Gex, we saw we saw just there in the title screen. He's uh, chilling out, relaxing on the beach. It's really low on my TV though. 
putting away some uh, great high res uh, magazine covers over here to an untimely end when agent extra was agent extra that's her name okay but she's been kidnapped great now, mr gex has dedicated himself to finding and rescuing his lost a lot of extra CDs. without her i fear he will be lost Gex has his own cola. Gex. Gex. Oh my god, that's FMV. You poor kidnapped minx. Hey, Tiger. Guess where I am? Trapped in the media dimension. Rez is back and he's kidnapped me to get to you. He's attacking your secret island cave. Hey, speaking of secrets, you want to see my... <laughs> okay. Gex, quit clowning around and get me out of here. This place is giving me the creeps. I'm on my way. Wow, so that wasn't that wasn't even just um FMV, that was like integrated FMV, like in like on a screen in the engine. That's that's really weird. I have not really seen anything like that before on the 64. And we got the voice samples and everything. That was really good. Um I mean the content wasn't very good. That was Gex is just being gross while his girlfriend is kidnapped and trapped in a the media dimension. That's doesn't seem necessary or wise but um yeah that was that was weird that was impressive it might be impressive i'm not actually sure if it is impressive okay oh that's real slippery oh okay he's referring to the fucking candy candy Some, something about minty um okay so the camera's not that bad right off the bat this time around um I'm not sure which which is the first level I'm supposed to go into right here. I see that the North Pole one right there was open. So that might be it. But I also just had to grab uh, the first remote. I think the golden remotes are the ones that are... Is this... No, this is a different part of his lair. Who the fuck are you? Welcome, sir. Please, come on in. Entering the training area should allow you to brush up on your skills. I don't need yeah, I don't want to do any training mode shit. It's got that thing where it doesn't let you uh Is this real low? Yeah, okay, I want this all the way up. That's better. Yeah, I didn't realize they were lowered. I had to mess around with that on my TV. Okay, that's that should be better. Alright, yeah, I don't want to go in there. I do not feel like doing any training modes. I feel like I can grasp Gex enough from memory and... Yeah, first person. Is this, is this anything? I don't know what that's for. It might be the North Pole level. Slappy Valley. I think I was caught in the in the Nintendo Power Rangers, guys. So that's a cartoon... It's a cartoon world, kind of like the first level from the last game. But, I don't know, I guess this is open, so I think, uh, the pole? Well, nope, there's another room. You, you get anything to say this time, or, okay. Alright, yeah, but we do have, yeah. So yeah, that, that game volume went super low. When you, when we modified it, when it was modified from the options menu. Uh, continue with our rumble pack, create five ice sculptures, whack five snowboard. This is when this game looks really, really uh, low effort, is in the sort of like menu screens or the pre-level screens, because you see, this is Comic Sans, and it's, yeah, there's no sound effects, and there's no, jeez. Uh, okay, whatever. I don't think you necessarily need to pick anything like that. Okay. All right. So what have we got this time around? We've got these flies. They're so too deep. I don't really like them for that. Very loud, creepy sound on those gates. Gex doesn't feel terrible to control right now. He's, uh, all right. Oh, he's got his little. He's got his little outfits. I forgot they did that. So yeah, we've got a. Uh, 
snowboarding looking Gex, who actually, if you look at the Game Boy Color uh, cover, that's basically that's basically the outfit he has on there. Uh, oh, we got elves. Oh, oh, that's seems like the, a good idea to me, sir. Who the fuck are you? Alright, cool, we got flies out of these Christmas present boxes. Okay, are these just like these are just like the little dwarfs from uh, Golden Axe? Just chase them, chase their tiny asses around and whack them for uh, a doesn't like you! Alright, oh there's only one each, so I guess. I got the one on the other one now, I guess. I think I remember this from the last game. I, I will say about controlling Gex is um, his turning has this feeling like he's got this very wide berth. Like he kind of goes in a circle. He doesn't like turn on a time or anything. Like if I if I uh, go and I and I go full stop and I turn the thing around, like he does that like long turn. He doesn't he doesn't like stop and turn around. That's a that's a little quirk of this. It makes sense, but I don't know if like I like it in a platformer. In a one and two, your candy is so work out better otherwise. Oh, okay. Is that the pot the the hand paw things? I think they're called golden paws. Uh, those are not those are not the things. That are the those are the things I want. Are these extra lives? No, because I don't think I'd have to I'll have to check the, uh, the guide for that. I'll need a, uh, I need a rundown on the, uh, on the items. Like, we're gonna be in a collectathon, and the collectathons. I mean, I could, I could have gone to that like. That training room, and they probably mentioned something about the items, but it would have been so slow. I'd rather just, I'd rather just do this and come back with the information later at some time if they're not gonna tell me. Roots inside your head. Hey, what? Yeah, I think that that wide berth sort of turning that he does is a little. It's gonna be a little bit tricky on stuff like this. Like I can picture a lot of just walking straight off the and stuff. Hey, ice sculptures. Okay, cool. We we know the drill. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's good. Like if you need to turn around and you're close to the edge of the cliff or something, yeah, you're gonna need, need to be real. real, real. Okay. I'm starting to kind of understand why the person who had the ability had turned the uh, sound effects volume down a bit. But realistically, it's the most important part of the game. I just, like, I wouldn't want the music to be above it, for sure. Because it's... Hold on. Okay. okay. I remember that from the first game, that that was, uh... What's going on over here? Okay. All right, we'll come back to that. Um, the fly thing I remember from the first game that, that that's somebody like tell Jackie off. Brown I, just, I found her hat. Like there was a specific button, and I had to try every button that was in my thing on my controller that could have worked for that. I bet you if I land on here, it's slippery. Oh, that's okay. That's the ground. Though, so it's oh, this is where I was before. Alright, maybe I, could, I, I was gonna say I could do it there. If I would actually want to jump, would actually respond. <laughs> Not sure what the flies are for. I'm guessing if I get a hundred, I get a hundred. My tauntaun fell down! Are you making fun of Luke for his tauntaun getting. I think he said another bug in my gut to the tune of another one bites the dust. I don't know, that joke doesn't that joke doesn't really land. It's a it's a bit of a strategy. Gotta love the thing.
Somebody's gotta do it. I guess. And a lot of these jokes, I like they're not. It's the same problem as the first game. Like these aren't jokes. When you say them apropos of nothing, they don't make any sense. Like, it would be funny if he said it in response to something, but there's really... Oh, the frame rate there, just... This thing's chugging a bit. Not sure if y'all caught that. There's another thing that, ha that I just got and I don't know what it's for. Yeah, we're gonna need to do some reading Number on one. this. Program the holodeck for something warm! Okay, that, that was a Star Trek reference, I think, in some way. Oh, he's got that double jump thing with his tail, like, screwed the duck. See if that's good enough to get up here, or if I have to go all the way back up. Nope. Gonna have to go all the way back up. Okay, so if you get 50 of those, you get another life. Cool. Good to know. I don't, yeah, I was gonna say, there's smoke coming out of that, I'm assuming I can't go down the chimney the same way. Scenic area, sure, let's go. I just wanna get the ice sculptures thing down, and uh, that would be it for this stream. I really just wanted to. Hey, extra life again, okay, cool. Oh, uh, the big thing for me was really, like, I wanna make sure I actually start this game, because I haven't done a stream in a couple weeks, but with the move and all that. Swingin baby. Cool, I'm glad that you cough up your shit. My tail oh, doesn't like you. Boxes, Big hurt! Those things take way too long. Okay, rest area. Is this where I was before? Or where am I? I don't recognize that sign. It's amazing. I think I was here before. Yeah. Okay, so that, yeah. It's the statue of Santa. This is basically the beginning of the level. Oh, hey, that, okay. That box stayed there for a reason. The springy. Oh, fuck. Oh, bam. Okay. Get that taken care of. Or at least, I will say, I've been to the top of that building, so I can kind of be done with that part. Not done. There we got these two. I already got those. Uh, okay. I feel like I'm going to be looking to looking for a door to another area. Um, I should be over there, and I can jump on the little starlight mix. Or I can... I can keep sliding off of everything, that was fine. Jesus Christ. It's a, it's a great job to make your first level be the, uh, the ice level and have everything have ice with it so that you're not really sure. You're not really sure if the game just slides around like this all the time. Oh my god, are you kidding me? You wouldn't let me jump because the thing was off kilter? Yeah, your question is gonna be, are the physics just like... Why is there so much delay on the jump? So the physics off kilter and you're just slidey like this all the time, or is it because we're in the ice level? I have to wait until the next level to find that. Oh, okay, at least he uses tongue on that one. Where's that Wonka man? I'm still three short on the fucking ice sculptures though. What's up with this? 
It's your first objective in your first level. It should not be this difficult. Bouncing on presents seems like a good idea to me, sir. I barely understood what he said. He said something about presents, though. I'm like, I've already whacked the shit out of all those presents. <laughs> sitting there waiting for me to go walk over and get them. There's not a lot of consistency to this, is there? And again, I'm not I'm not entirely sure on the significance of them, so can I go in? I can go in the ice cold water. He's cold blooded. He's a cold blooded creature. But he's totally fine just swimming in this ice cold water. Never mind. It's just like, never mind the, you know, the cold temperature, whatever, like, we'll suspend his belief enough for that. He would die immediately. As many of us would. It's, but especially him. Why am I zoomed in so far? I don't want this. Show me ice sculptures, please. There's a lot more shit to do over here. Than over here. Essentially, they're doing like the they're doing like the floating platforms, make it seem like oh you can't touch the water. If I can just swim right through, what's the point of the platforms other than oh you need them to to jump up up there? Didn't give me credit for touching that. One. Again, another one of these conference over here that's just. Out in the open. Thing and I'm glad what you're like the it. guides literally advertise show, show uh, the location of every golden pot. Like they're right there. What are they for? They're such a big deal. Why are they so easy to get? I want the remotes. The actual progression item. Definitely was expecting him to just slide off the end after he setting himself up with his tongue like that. And another one. What are these? Alright, that's this is enough of a mystery to me right now that I would have to get up and stop. Stop what I'm doing. What are those for? They're game basics. Game basics. Power to use items and pickups. Paw coins, 10 per level. Pick up 25. Oh, okay, that's good. They're, uh, give you an extra health of it. So I've got four. If I get 25 of those, I get another paw. So I get another hit point, basically. And, uh, oh, there's the last sculpture, too. Hooray. Uh, if I get 25 of those, my, uh, my hit points go up. So that's good. I actually, um, Good with that. Uh, okay, and that's back in the rest area. Sign portion. In other words, it's not too far away. It's not halfway back across the level.
Awesome. We have a winner! On remote, 79 flies, one of these B coins. Eight paws. Um, yeah, sure. Nope. What? Uh, you won't keep. You'll keep going if I hold the stick, but not the D pad. Is it quicker this way? Probably not. You put the numbers and the symbols in either direction before the letters. Why? Why would you do that? You're making this the most difficult it can be. That's just not intuitive whatsoever. <sighs> okay. Yes. Say thank you. Oh, there's going to be a lot of those in there. Okay. Uh, that's level, that first jump into Gex 3. That's all I really wanted to get done today, but I'm really glad I did it. Um, this will be, I don't want to say it would be a relaxing game, but it will be a very, like, uh, chill. Oh, I'll pop in Gex and I'll grab one remote. And it'll take me 15 to 20 minutes tops. Um... You know, as I go about my week and shit. So this would this would be good. Uh, I'll make some progress I on this. Like I said, I've got it, all this shit to help me out. Back. What? I don't know. Wasn't paying attention for that. All right. Uh, so thank you. Welcome back. We're here. We're doing stuff. Um, uh, I'll see you for more Gex soon. Within a week or so. Um. Yeah. Awesome. Peace out.